Today on Florida Sportsman Best Boat. For serious anglers who desire a versatile fishing platform with loads of style, we'll be taking a look at the Crossweight Custom 21. A center console with an overall length of 21 feet, a beam of 9 feet 6 inches, and max horsepower rating of 250. Standout features on the Crossweight Custom 21. A versatile hull design that allows anglers to navigate over shallow inshore waters while still providing stability offshore gives fishermen a variety of options. Ample deck space ensures everyone on board, whether casting off the bow or bottom fishing off the stern, has plenty of room to move around when things get serious. A second station gives anglers additional visibility when searching for game fish that roam just beneath the surface of the water. If you're equally interested in family entertainment and heading offshore, we'll be taking a look at the Roballo R242 Explorer. A center console with an overall length of 24 feet, a beam of 8 feet 9 inches, and max horsepower rating of 350. Standout features on the Roballo R242 Explorer. A versatile bow layout provides everyone on board with a comfortable place to lay down and relax, sit down and enjoy lunch, or even cast a line. An ergonomic console design takes into consideration driver comfort and visibility, providing a thoughtful layout and an excellent line of sight. A large swim platform serves as a place to enter the water and reboard the boat safely and easily. For those who demand a boat with hardcore blue water capability and the utmost attention to detail, we'll be taking a look at the Jupiter 34 HFS. A center console with an overall length of 33 feet 9 inches, a beam of 10 feet 5 inches, and max horsepower rating of 900. Standout features on the Jupiter 34 HFS. Sea kindliness gives the captain and their passengers a safe and fun experience while on the water, the hull providing a quick yet soft and dry ride in poor conditions. Maximum storage on board means nothing has to get left at the dock, crucial when making long offshore excursions. An integrated helm station provides anglers everything they need in a centralized location. Mezzanine seating, a live well, tackle storage, and more. Join our hosts George Labonte and Rick Riles as they conduct walkthroughs and review key features, all to help you decide if this is the best boat for you. Welcome back to another episode of Florida Sportsman Best Boat. I'm Captain Rick Riles. And I'm Florida Sportsman Boating Editor, George Labonte. Hey, we've got three great boats to look at this week. We're gonna start out with the Crosway 21. We're gonna move on from there to the Roballo R242 Explorer. And finally, the Jupiter 34 HFS. Let me tell you something, I love that little Crosswaite, okay? That's a brand new boat to the market, and I love it when we get to do that, but it comes from a long heritage of Outer Banks boat builders. You're exactly right about that. This is a, this is a family with a lot of history in the boat building business and the fishing industry. It's definitely unique, and we liked it. All right, next from there, we're gonna move on to the Roballo R242 Explorer. You know, they took that R242 with all the fishability inherent in that particular model and built a bunch of luxury amenities into it. So this is a comfortable version of the old R242. And finally, the Jupiter 34 HFS really tames the ocean. It's a great performance boat. It's a beautiful looking boat with a lot of elegance. This boat has become really popular as a yacht tender. Not only are you gonna feel good in that boat, you're gonna look good in that boat. Hey, we've got a lot to get to. Don't go anywhere, we're gonna be right back. When we come back, hosts George Labonte and Rick Riles take a closer look at a boat designed to run skinny and fish deep, the Crossweight Custom 21. This segment brought to you by Suzuki Marine, the ultimate four-stroke outboard. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles, as they take a closer look at the Crossweight Custom 21. Representing the 20 to 26 foot class in the center console category, the Crossweight Custom 21 has an overall length of 21 feet, a beam of nine feet six inches, and a max horsepower rating of 250. Built to run skinny and tackle open water, she has a draft of 10 inches, a dry weight of 1,900 pounds, 
and a fuel capacity of 42 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. Let's talk a little bit about something that's always really impressed me and I've been intrigued by it as long as I've been on the water is the culture of boat building up in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. And this is a Crossway 21, a very unique boat and very unique to the style of boat you see typically come out of the Outer Banks. They actually originally built this hull for a duck boat. There's guys that are duck guides up there that are hunting the sound in the wintertime and they wanted a boat that was wide enough and big enough to carry 500 decoys and five guys in the boat and take their duck hunters back into the marsh and go up in the shallow water. And they needed all that space, but a boat that would get you there and go super shallow to do it. That was the original design for this boat. And now it's evolved from a duck boat into what we're standing on today. We've seen tunnel hulls before, but this is unique. This is a reverse tunnel. It's six inches high into the hull with a taper like this, but the tunnel actually necks down towards the motor. I mean, this boat will actually run through six inches of water because you're putting enough water across that prop and just skimming over the top of it with the bottom of the boat. But the acid test for me on a 21-foot boat when we take it out on the ocean is how comfortable it is sitting up forward to the console. This thing rode nice. It, it does run nice. Actually, there's a lot of nice things about this boat. Why don't we have a look around? You know, I keep having to remind myself that this is a 21-footer. How many 21-footers can you take five people in comfortably? You know, we were offshore today throwing jigs and the two of us were up here working around each other. We never bumped into one another the whole morning. No, and think of how many times we passed each other on the same side of the console without bumping into each other. Show me another 21 footer you can do that in. Another thing about this boat too is that it's not the flats boat that, you know, you think about bone fishing. This is a boat that you can take offshore and go out and anchor up on the reef. Okay, you can go out there and go fishing offshore and go sail fishing in the thing if you wanted to on a nice day. No problem, and look at where your gunnel height is. I mean, you're inside the boat up here. I mean, this is a offshore center console for all intents and purposes right here. You know, I was thinking about all the different applications this boat has, and all we really got to do is look at the very short trip we had this morning. Look at all we did. Today we fished in a mangrove creek. We are fishing in the inlet on the rip on the outgoing tide on the jetty. We caught bait offshore. We are running the beach looking for cobias. We did all that in one morning. But you can't get away from the fact about how simply elegant it is. It's a gorgeous boat. I couldn't agree more, Rick. You know what? Why don't we take a walk back here and look at the rest of the boat? You know, something that jumps out at me about this boat too, Rick, is it's a functional fishing boat, but this thing has got a lot of curves, a lot of contour, radius. I mean, it looks like a little custom bridge pod right here. And the style doesn't stop there too. Look at the framework on this top, Rick. They've got this set up where two people can stand up there. This boat is so stable. You know, it's, it's not a problem to have two guys up there. If you're Kobe fishing, you want both guys up on top looking for fish, you can do it on this boat. You've got a leaning post area to sit up against when you're driving. You know, they actually incorporate the pump, the filter, and your fittings for the live well right inside here in the front of this box. And they've actually incorporated a 25 gallon live well into the back where there's a seat here too. So you've got rod holders and a seat and your live well underneath and access to all the systems all within this little box right here. Talk about simply elegant, okay? Mezzanine seating right here. Just, I tell you, these covering boards and that fish box top the boat off. Yeah, now we feel like we stepped into the cockpit on a sport fish boat here. I mean, this is what it looks like. You've got the, you know, the foam grip deck here that's in teak color and the teak colored uh, covering boards. I mean, this looks like the back of a Carolina sport fish boat. Okay, important to me though is that nine and a half foot beam, we keep going back to it. Imagine being on the anchor on this boat, how much room we've got to stand here on either side of the boat and bottom fish off of the back of it. You can bottom fish four out of this thing as simply as you can out of a 28 foot. Listen buddy, if you are looking for a boat that's steeped in tradition, loaded with style, and a super functional boat, that comes straight out of the Outer Banks of North Carolina that everybody's gonna wanna have a look at, you're gonna wanna have a look at this Crosway 21. When we return, hosts George Labonte and Rick Ryle step aboard a boat designed with the fishing-oriented family in mind, the Roballo R242 Explorer. This segment brought to you by Manta Racks. Take your boards. Sometimes the best fishing lies in places that are difficult to access. Shallow water, no motor zones, motor restrictions, and rough water may stand between you and the best fishing. Manorak securely transports your paddle boards to these locations without damaging the boat or the SUP. Now, 
There's no place for fish to hide. Manta Racks. Go further. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles, as they discuss the advantages behind the Contra rotating prop design in this week's power segment. Captain George, this is the second year we've spent with this Suzuki 350 with dual counter rotating props. The numbers have been incredible. Really, the dual prop contra rotating design is not a new design. I mean, they've been using it in airplanes for a long time and they've been using it in stern drives on a regular single prop motor you're gonna lose a lot of thrust to what they call rotational thrust or tangential thrust. All right, picture what that prop is doing. It's gonna push water straight back, but a lot of that water gets pushed out to the sides. Outside. Okay, wheel. which is all wasted effort. The second wheel on this one picks up and recovers a lot of that. You've got 80% more blade area there, so naturally it's gonna be much more efficient and it's gonna be much more effective to push the boat. And another thing it's gonna do for you too, Rick, you're splitting up the amount of torque that is inflicted on the gears by these propellers in half. As a result of that, you can use a smaller shaft, smaller gear, smaller gear case. So the gear case has got a much more streamlined profile. It cuts through the water easier, better fuel efficiency. Gives the motor less drag, gives the motor more thrust. I think we're gonna see a lot more of them in the future. You know that's true. Now let's check out the Rabalo R242 Explorer. Representing the 20 to 26 foot class in the center console category, the Rabalo R242 Explorer has an overall length of 24 feet, a beam of 8 feet 9 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 350. Designed to run the family offshore in comfort, she has a draft of 20 inches, a dead rise of 22 degrees, a dry weight of 4,800 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 156 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. Okay, the boat we're on today is the R242 Explorer. Now, the Rivalo R242, the regular R242 is a more sport-oriented, fishing type of, less frills boat, but this boat, the Explorer, is an entirely different animal. After spending the morning on this boat, I'd love to have my kids grow up on this boat. Does that make sense? Oh yeah, absolutely. Now think about it, you know, this boat is geared towards the guy who's going to do some fishing, but really wants to take people out to have a good time and relax. One thing that's going to be really important to you if you're a family boater is safety, and this is a really able sea boat. You know, this boat has a 22 degree dead rise on the bottom. I watched the boat from the outside all morning and saw you running in the boat, and this boat ran like a champ. We've got a lot to get to. Why don't we start right up here? Since you went to all the trouble to put this lounge together, why don't we make good use of it? Man? <laughs> Grab a seat. Uh, I can always have a seat, buddy. Yeah. Oh yeah, wake me up when we're done. How about it? It's perfect, George. These bolster heights, okay, just where I want them to be. It's very cozy. You know what? This is neat, this configuration. It's actually, you can switch it up a few different ways. Now you've got the filler piece in the center and the cushions here making this basically a sun lounge here. Added these takeout backrests here, the forward facing backrest. This is nice just for sitting here, even for riding right up here. I mean, it's very comfortable. Now, you can remove this filler piece and have it open. You can take the cushions off and have it a casting deck, or you can add a table, which is on the boat too, and have a table in here to sit around and have a picnic lunch. So how's that for versatility? It's versatility and it's good use of space. It's one of the things that Robalo does really well. These forward fish box hatches, easy open latches. You don't have to remove the cushion easily. Lift it up, you're in the box right there, no problem. Wait before you take off too far, buddy. Don't walk past my favorite kind of console opening. Yeah, how can I ignore the 400 pound gorilla in the room? Your favorite forward opening console. Man, this thing is just unbelievable. It's five, five and a half feet of headroom down in there with a head in, in this one. I'm gonna tell you a word that keeps coming up over and over again as we do all these walkthroughs on these boats. Ergonomics. Let's talk about it on this console. All right, you gotta like the padding. I've especially cared for the wells up forward to put cell phones and stuff in. They won't slide back on top of it. I do like the dark. The black acrylic here is really nice. I mean, this is a really sporty, sexy looking console here, but this boat seats you perfectly. You can touch the wheel right there perfectly. And more importantly, this lowered level here of the top of the console really enables you to see well over the thing. I mean, just look at how open your view is right here. Another thing, this hard top, really sturdy, a well-built solid top. They bring the tubing inside the dimensions of the console here so it doesn't impede in the space when you're walking past. You've got plenty of room to move right here. How about putting a bolster here on so you side. can sit down on the side, watch the lines, and still be perfectly comfortable? 
Let's work our way to the back of the boat. There's two innovations back there that I'll bet you lunch you can't even find. All right, let's see these hidden features you're Let talking about. Let me tell about. you something, buddy. Something I never would have thought of. This cooler that's under here? Yeah. What if we need a bigger box of water toys under there tomorrow for taking the kids? You raise the bar, you can slide anything under there. Adjustable, I like it, I like it. All right, you find the other one yet? You're gonna have to help me out here. What do we got? You buying lunch? Maybe. Ta-da! You wondered where the insert up there, where you did it, what you did with it? Fits perfect right down here. You latch it closed, it's gone. Unbelievable. That will be a um, Philly cheesesteak. Okay, you got the cheesesteak, and that's a great place to put that table. That's a great idea. We've got fiberglass built-in lounge area, this seating right here. Tell me about it. Oh, it's ideal, George. First, for cruising, for having the kids, it's perfect. But if you want to fish, you've got a live well over here, you've got storage right underneath me, and you've got a walk-through transom door that leads to something you really like. That transom platform is much wider here. You can walk back and forth across it easily. The swim ladder folds into a pocket there. That's gonna get the kids in and out of the boat easier, but more room to walk around back there, I like it. If you're looking for a boat that's gonna make the whole family happy, the Rabalo R242 Explorer definitely deserves a look. When we come back, hosts George Labonte and Rick Riles check out a boat built to perform in blue water without compromise, the Jupiter 34 HFS. This segment brought to you by Infinity by Harman. It's all about the music. Hey Dad, can we do that again tomorrow? Don't forget your sunscreen. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts, Rick Riles and George Labonte, as they check out the Jupiter 34 HFS. Representing the 31 to 53 foot class in the center console category, the Jupiter 34 HFS has an overall length of 33 feet 9 inches, a beam of 10 feet 5 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 900. Engineered to comfortably journey far offshore, she has a draft of 24 inches a dead rise of 23 degrees, a dry weight of 9,880 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 325 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. You know, Rick, something struck me this morning running around on this beautiful Jupiter here, and I was thinking about the evolution of center console boats, and one of the words that came into my mind was heritage. And now, do you remember back in 1989 when Jupiter, the original Jupiter boat company was founded, somebody said, wouldn't it be cool to have a bigger center console? And from that vision, basically, this 31 Jupiter original boat was born. They've taken it a step further with this boat, the 34. I mean, this boat is just a better version of that. They call it a boat that's built for life. Now, it's not just because the boat's gonna last your life, which it will, it's built for a lifestyle. First off, I'm 15 years younger than when I throttled down on this boat. I'm at least six inches taller, okay, and a lot better looking, all right? It just, George, I'm telling you, this thing rides crazy, and it's a Wahoo. It doesn't want to swim along slowly. It wants to go, and it is begging you to push those throttles down. Rick, this is a deep V boat, okay? It's got a 60 degree dead rise in the front, 24 degrees in the back, but more importantly, they put a flat pad on the bottom of the boat, got lifting strakes on both sides. You're going 40 miles an hour through the water, and you're not feeling it. I mean, you're basically skipping over the top of the waves, and I could see it from the outside looking in. There's a lot to look at here, Rick. Why don't we start right up here and take a look around on the bow. Rick, the model we're standing on, incidentally, is the Jupiter 34 HFS. Can you tell me a little bit about the HFS? Oh, you bet I can. It's called Hybrid Forward CD, okay? One of the examples of how you customize this boat. I love this layout. Two seats, but you're deep all the way to the bow, which I really like. If I fight a fish up here, I want to walk all the way around the boat and not have to stand up on the seat if it's four to six foot. You know, so for that reason, I always shied away from forward seating, but this design right here just eliminates that problem. It really gives you the best of both worlds. Right here, we've got a big storage box, and this boat is pretty storage heavy, and one thing that I really like about this Jupiter is every storage compartment on the boat is insulated. You've got the Sun Lounge here, which is a really, really popular design, and I like it, and also it creates a tremendous amount of storage uh, space underneath it as well. 
George, I tell you what, you step back here, looks like an electronic suite as they call it. It, it, it. Just everything, of course, everything you'd ever need with the twin big screens. Let me point out how clean this console is because they're utilizing the digital switching. You've just got two big MFDs right here for your displays. You can show everything on there that you need to show. All the critical things that you need to have that you can't have go out on you if that ever fails are all located right up there out of the way. Close that door and that just leaves this super clean look and this is a really, really modern look. Obviously, you've got a console large enough to put up head inside this one's got a head plenty of room to stand up in there also lots of storage options inside there but more importantly you've got access to the back of this panel you work in standing up with headroom plenty of visibility all your stuff systems are easily reachable from the inside there too rick you know this helm station's got a lot more going on than just those two seats here too watching a trolling spread this mezzanine seating here is a great option for somebody who likes to watch the face to sit there they don't take the live well away, they just make it a 25 gallon live well underneath the seats. That leaves room for a big section here for tackle trays on one side and tackle drawers on the other side, your leaders, caddies and all that stuff. So really they pack everything you need in the cockpit of a big sport fish boat right into that center. You know, there's two 416 quart fish boxes in this boat in the cockpit, one here and one there. Both of them insulated like everything else on the boat here, but you could put a 200 pound tuna in each of these fish boxes right here. George, these side doors, we're seeing more and more of them every day. This one extremely well built. That's not only helpful with the fish of a lifetime, man, is it helpful around the dock. Yeah, and a boat like this, you're gonna be in the Bahamas, in and out of the water a lot. That type of activity is really suited for a side entry door like that. The custom quality of this boat, I mean, from top to bottom, right down to the Allcraft 2000 metallic tourmaline color of this hull. I mean, every little thing you wanna add to or change to, this, this is an experience, this boat right here. It is a boat truly built for life. So if you are looking for a true offshore battle wagon that does 65 miles an hour and can handle big seas, the 34 Jupiter is a great hull to start. The rest of it is going to be up to you. Listen, if you want any more information about the boats you've seen this week or any boat you see on Best Boat, go to floridasportsman.com. Or we'll see you next week with another episode of Florida Sportsman Best Boat. When filming for Florida Sportsman Best Boat, the cast and crew docked and dined at Pirate's Cove Marina in Stewart, Florida. Family owned and operated, featuring 50 renovated rooms with an outstanding restaurant and a full service 50 slip marina.